One of the most important exercises you can possibly do with the bow is practice a son filet, which is a spun sound. This son filet stroke is going to cover the entire length of the bow, so we'll have to begin talking about what happens when we span the entire length of the bow. First, you should be pretty comfortable starting in the middle of the bow with your square shape and opening up your arm to a triangle shape. Great. Now from this point on, if we kept going with our arm in a natural fashion, we're going to pull away and the bow is going to get extremely crooked and push out towards the fingerboard. Not good. So one way to counteract this natural motion of our arm is to open up to our triangle shape and then push out our hand away from our body and straighten our arm slightly. Open to a triangle, push away. So you can practice doing that uh, stopping at our red stripe on the bow and looking in the mirror thinking, okay, am I really pushing out my hand away from my body? Push out, pull in, close. And eventually we'll want to make that motion extremely fluid, no stopping. If you're doing that well, you'll be able to maintain the same contact point, the same spot between the bridge and the fingerboard, and this should be somewhere in this middle area, slightly closer to the bridge for now. Awesome, right? Not a big deal. Now, I want to start approaching the lower half of the bow and from the middle to about uh, the lower quarter of the bow, not much happens. We can simply uh, move our wrist towards our nose. No problem. Wrist to nose, okay? Now from this point on, we're going to need more of our upper arm. This is the only point in the bow stroke that will really need some upper arm. Upper arm follows. Upper arm returns. Square. Triangle. Push out. Okay. Now, this isn't going to happen easily uh, in the next five seconds. You'll have to look in a mirror and practice the motion of the bow extremely slowly. And this is what's meant by a son filet stroke, a spun sound stroke. Um, I've also heard this called a one minute bow stroke because it is so slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my metronome and try and make my bow stroke last for a very, very long time. Perhaps even the length of the entire song, Jingle Bells. So the goals for this son filet stroke are as follows. You want to be able to maintain a very straight bow, that means pushing out at the tip and pulling your wrist to your nose at the frog. You'll want to maintain the same contact point and, by definition, a very even sound for the entire length of the bow stroke. 
What I've noticed is that students are often very anxious to start this bow stroke, and so very often the beginning of it sounds very accented and then we run out of bow, or sometimes at the change at the tip, I'll get an accent there. Keep your bow moving at the same speed for the entire duration of this bow stroke. If you practice this son filet bow stroke enough, you'll start to become very sensitive to the roll of each finger on the bow. And uh, let, let's talk about the roll of each of the fingers uh, just a little bit right now. So when I'm at the frog, my first finger is very loose, as is my second finger, third finger, and thumb. If I'm careful, I can take each of them off and put them back on the bow again. However, if I let go of my pinky, my bow should be able to just seesaw over to the lower strings. The pinky is what's keeping my bow stable and on the string when I'm at the frog. When I start moving at the frog, the only finger that needs any real uh, security is my pinky. Okay. At the tip of the bow, everything has changed. So for instance, my pinky is my loosest finger, just sitting there gently, and I'm leaning into the bow with my first finger. As a result, my thumb has to offer some counter pressure in the opposite direction, almost like a pinching action between the first and second finger and the thumb. If my first finger, second finger and thumb are leaning into the bow, pinching slightly at the tip, and my pinky finger is pulling the bow at the frog, well, what happens in the middle of the bow? At the middle of the bow, I'm a little bit more balanced. My pinky is helping to support a little bit, and my thumb, first finger and second finger are helping to pinch a little bit. So in this journey of a whole bow stroke, the balance of the bow shifts from the pinky to a balanced sense and then leaning in and pinching first and second finger and thumb. Pinky, first and second finger and thumb. If we're thinking about that, then we can avoid um, playing too strongly, too accented and loud at the frog, and too weak at the tip. No. I'll pull from my pinky, pull from the pinky, balanced, pinching more with first finger and thumb, balanced, back to the pinky. That's a lot to think about, and that's why practicing this spun sound, this son filet stroke, is one of the most important activities we'll participate in in this beginning series.